Okay, I put some teaser pictures on my Facebook page, but people didn't get a chance to find out what Jim was actually doing. He came in here and last weekend, and we have taken our water system, and this is the, uh, the bladder that Jim actually installed when we first moved here, and he created some diversionary pipes and what's going to go on here is that now we're going to be able to have water spigots elsewhere on the, on the farm. So here is a farm pump that he has installed here at my wash station here at the farm. This is one of the first things he built uh, the first spring after we moved in so I can do my potting and washing my vegetables here and we ended up digging trenches with a ditch witch all the way here from the back of the well house <clears throat> and over here and we kept on digging and digging and digging all the way over to here and then we did a little segue over here so that we could get a farm pump here at the corner of the barn. And what that does is enables me to have a, a water source right near the chicken coop. So when I need to fill up the water bowls for the chickens or take a hose over to wash something off, it's real easy for me to do. And then we continued with the digging with the ditch witch which took Jim, I think about two and a half hours with the machine. And then he segued over here also. You could see right here where there's some wire coming up. And then over here, there's some wire coming up. And we've dug a trench all the way up to the front gate. But here, We've planted some underground Romex and with the wire coming up and what's going to happen is Jim's going to wire uh, a hard uh, electrical outlet here. We had to cross the driveway and dug the trench along this way. Again, electrical wire so we can put um, something here to plug in permanent wiring for lighting along the fence. And uh, here's one of our new crepe myrtles in here. And we continued the piping for the water and the electric all the way over here. So now I have a wonderful water source so I can water my little flower beds along the edge of the driveway before I had to like fill up buckets and then uh, in a, put them in a wagon and then come over here and hand pour them. And then we've got the electrical going all the way back over to here. So what this is going to enable us to do is instead of having to rely on solar power for our little fence lights uh, at night, then uh, now we have water and electric and uh, the other trench from the other side of the barn that came over and we've got wiring here too so he's going to be able to put um, electrical plugs and we're going to be able to light up permanent lighting and do all kinds of wonderful things and uh, really be able to ramp up the entryway here to the farm so that's what we've been doing the last couple of weekends